Hey everyone, so this is the demo for um, characterizing the frequency response of LilyPad light sensor. As you can see right over here, I have 10 Hz of square wave going on with again 2.5 volt peak to peak and 2.5 volt of offset. As you can see here, I have white LED and I'm holding the LilyPad right against it so that all of the waveform or all of the light hits the sensor directly and as you can see in the oscilloscope output um, the output is uh, the green trace and it is having even more than the input itself and the reason is because most probably the lilypad light sensor is using uh, internal photodiode which kind of amplifies the output voltage and if I move the sensor away from the light as you can see the output goes flat right now um, the sensor is not facing the light and uh, put it back in the position again so it is um, a for sure optical uh, couple output now let's go ahead and go to the 100 hertz of frequency and as you can see the output is still pretty good um, just to remind you, um, you can go to the uh, data sheet of the, uh, this uh, light sensor and you'll see that the, if you calculate the output uh, of uh, frequency, it would give you somewhere around 3 uh, kilohertz. You have to take into the account rise time and the fall time, but this is what you'll end up with around 3 kilohertz. So let's go ahead and go to the 2 kilohertz and we'll expect the output to be still pretty much good all right again and yes it seems pretty good right now uh, we are at 2 kilohertz and unlike ldr which started to die off at 500 hertz uh, we are still going really good at 2 kilohertz let's try 4 kilohertz And as you can clearly see, the attenuation is there, which kind of proves that uh, the uh, data sheet is kind of right, that the cutoff frequency is around 3 uh, kilohertz. And let's go ahead and try for 10 kilohertz. The output goes really down. It is about, let's say, um, 200 millivolts or something like that. Also, you can see the shape of the waveform is not quite clear. It's not square anymore. It is just kind of uh, all like a half wave rectifier peaks or something like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and try for 100 kilohertz. And as you can see, it is mostly pure noise at this point. We can still stop this waveform, zoom it in. And yes, it is pretty much the noise of in the order of 20 millivolts. So um, I would say that till 3 kilohertz or 5 kilohertz, it does provide you a good output, but then it starts to attenuate. And it's really up to your application, how much output you want. But I, I can definitely say that I'll, um, if um, given enough um, um, time, I can uh, use it for up to 10 kilohertz for sure. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.